What's going on everybody? Like I said, I was heading down to South Florida and I am here. As you can see, look at all the palm trees. God, I love South Florida. A little hot, but uh, found a little spot right, right down the road from the hotel and I'm hoping we can go and get us some peacock bass. So stay tuned because this is my favorite fish to catch. I caught one for the first time about a month or two ago and I've just been jonesing it since. So. Let's go see if we can go get one. So we're just about rigged up. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the popper here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's green, blue line through it, little red tail on there. Uh, hoping that it does something, I don't know. I'm still learning how to catch these fish. I got lucky on a minnow last time, but we'll see. They love live shiners. I'm not a big live shiner fish guy. I'm just not, but that doesn't mean I don't do it. I know that's how you catch big ones and I'm not afraid to catch big ones. So with that being said, let's go throw this and uh, see, see what we can do. Right there on the edge of that grass is a peacock bass. Just looking graceful and beautiful. Ooh, there's a big one. I think that's a carp though. Ooh, look at that. First South Florida bass that's actually a decent bass. Caught him on a minnow. We're gonna we're gonna pop this out and uh, maybe get a photo and then uh, shoot him back. Alright, so we just caught that one, but it is hot. I'm seeing all these peacock bass, but I cannot figure out why they won't take what I got. So we're going to keep on grinding. We're going to keep on hustling around this pond and uh, hopefully we'll make it to the other side and show you some peacock. So really fast, I'll give you a quick little rundown of what I do know about the butterfly peacock bass. Uh, they are in South Florida. I believe they go all the way up to Fort Pierce. Um, they like shiners. They like anything shiny. They're very aggressive fish. Uh, so it makes, makes a heck of a fight when they hit. Uh, they love clear water. They don't do well when, uh, temperature changes. They don't like cold water at all. They will start to croak out, which is, uh, which is not cool. Um, pretty sure they were brought here from, uh, South America, Brazil, I believe. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I have no shame in you guys commenting down below and, uh, and let me know if I'm wrong because like I said I am new to this I am new to all the fishing but uh but I love it so like I said help me out teach me I'm always willing to learn but all right let's see if we can get a get us a peacock in oh there it is another one we got it we're, we're on we're on we're chasing lips today so it's not a peacock but soon soon I feel it Well, still no peacock, but I literally threw this next cast. This was awesome. So let's get another video going. What's up with it? Here we go. Get a release. Hey. And there she goes. <laughs> let's do it. watching this and you know what kind of bird that is let me know not not this one but these little ducks back here these uh, geese looking things they're cool they're tan red feet got a black eye super cool I don't know if you can see this but there's two peacock bass right here and I am about to drop that one right, right there at them 
Yep. Oh. He's seen it out of the water. Let's see if we can get it again. Yep. Oh. That hooks it. And I caught a tree. <laughs> Guys, I'm just making my way around this pond. Uh, and uh, like I said, Miami is uh, very, very diverse. I am looking at a manatee. Check it out. I seen, uh, seen a little commotion over here, so I figured I'd come check it out. And sure enough, there it is. Heck yeah. And uh, I don't know if you see the manatee, but if you look behind it, there's what you call a, uh, uh, here's one, that orange dot. That is another orange fish. Let's see if, uh, see if we can get it. They're only native down here. And uh, I think they were introduced by, honestly, I think fish tanks. But uh, yeah, so let's see if we can get it. fish. New species on the spoon. Let's go. Oh, little daggers in there. I see you. Okay, you spit the hook. Check them out. Check them out. Let's get them up next to the rod so you can see the, see the limb. Not too big, but beautiful colors. Well guys, this is why you need to be more observant. I was just standing right here. See that lump on that log right there? Right at the bottom, right by the water. Right there. That's a moccasin. Yep. So we haven't had much in, in quite some time. So I'm gonna start heading my way back up through the ponds and hopefully I can catch something else before I uh, before I lose light. But no peacock so far, but that's all right. I got tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So hopefully within those three days, I can catch a peacock. But let's get back to fishing. Well, as you can see, I am not at the pond anymore. I am back at the hotel. I ran out of light really fast, so I went ahead and called up my stepdad and had him come get me. But I did have a really good day of fishing. Uh, I, even though I didn't get to catch no peacock bass, it was still a win. Uh, I caught that jaguar fish. I don't know the technical term for it. I'd probably butcher it if I did. Uh, but three bass, jaguar fish, got to see a manatee, uh, met a lot of really really cool people and if you're watching this and you see it uh, I'm sorry I didn't catch your name but like it say something let me know because I'd love to go fish with you uh, father and son super cool guys so thank you for pointing me in the right direction but on another note thank you guys for everything y'all y'all support is just unbelievable I appreciate it I'm trying to do the best I can I got big things coming soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. Until then, guys, like, subscribe, share, never give up, and keep chasing lips.